It's Sunday, April 5th, 2015, Easter Sunday, and I'm Jim Sullivan with your NeoWeather.com video forecast. Most of us have seen a nice morning thus far. It's coming up on the noon hour now. Temperatures for most of us rising into the low to mid-50s. There are more clouds closer to Lake Erie. Ashtabula has been seeing some rain, and they're still in the 40s. There's a frontal boundary in that general vicinity, so our eastern lakeshore is going to be cooler today than pretty much everyone else, and there's going to be a little bit more sun in our southern and western counties. There is actually some snow not too far to our north and some light accumulations. That is completely missing us, however. Taking a look across the entire country now, a fairly benign weather pattern. Um, it is a little bit chilly across the northern tier, and there are a couple of systems riding through that area, producing a little bit of snow, nothing too heavy. We have some rain across parts of the deep south, no severe weather out of that expected today. We have more moisture moving into the western United States. That will move out into the plains and cause a more interesting week. However, for now, it's nothing much to write home about. Coming back to Cleveland, looking at the numbers, yesterday we did 48 and 29, below the averages of 55 and 37. Records for today are 81 and 16. We saw 400 some inch of rain at Hopkins yesterday, and a little bit of snow, a little dusting of snow in some areas yesterday morning. We're actually running a little above normal on the monthly precipitation, still below normal on the year. Sunset tonight at 7.57 p.m. And for the rest of your Easter Sunday, it really could be worse. We've seen snowstorms before on Easter, not this year. A good amount of sunshine south of the lake, clouds near the lake shore and east of Cleveland. Highs getting into the 60 or so degree range away from Lake Erie. Upper 40s, lower 50s, closer to the lake. Tonight, we're going to continue with partly cloudy skies, lows in the lower 40s. Taking a look ahead now on one of our forecast computer models, today is nice high pressure fairly close by. High pressure moves off to the east tonight and into the day on Monday, allowing a southerly wind flow to develop that will allow us to stay pretty mild to start the work week. It will also bring a little bit of moisture in from the south as a warm front lifts across the region, so there could be a few showers tomorrow, definitely more clouds. Southerly flow continues into Tuesday and a warm front hangs around right around the vicinity of Lake Erie. A little disturbance will ride along that front early Tuesday, bringing a pretty good chance of some rain, maybe some thunder. And then Tuesday afternoon, it gets a little bit more interesting. A little low pressure system is going to move our way, and we might, if we get some sun, develop enough instability. And with the warm front around, there will be a little bit of wind shear that could cause a few strong to maybe severe thunderstorms Tuesday afternoon and evening especially west of I-71 and south of the Turnpike as it looks right now. All right, this is a pretty low resolution model, so don't take the location of the storms verbatim off this model, but the idea is the chance for a few storms is there. Then as we get into the day Wednesday, the front sinks off to our south. It doesn't go too far south. It stays in central Ohio, but that'll allow a pretty good northeasterly wind to develop off of Lake Erie. And that'll keep us pretty chilly for Wednesday, it looks like, maybe in the 40s, especially closer to the lake. However, as we head towards Wednesday evening, you can see another storm system gathering in the plains that could spark some severe weather on Wednesday across the high plains. It could spark more severe weather on Thursday farther east towards the Mississippi Valley, up maybe towards even Chicago. And maybe something for us on Friday we'll have to see. The general idea is, though, it's going to be an active week, periodic rain chances, variable temperatures so it'll definitely be fun no snow however so here's what that all looks like on your seven day forecast now tomorrow definitely an increase in clouds maybe a couple of showers especially in the afternoon highs in the lower 60s tomorrow night we don't drop too far with better rain chances moving in and then tuesday could be a couple of rounds of showers and storms one in the morning maybe a break for the early afternoon, and then maybe some scattered storms developing late afternoon into the evening. Some of those storms on Tuesday could be a little friskier. I went with a high of 58 for Cleveland. It could certainly be warmer farther south. Cleveland could even be warmer depending on where that warm front sets up, although right now I think it'll stay just a little bit south of Cleveland, which would keep the severe threat a little bit south of Cleveland. Wednesday is the raw day. Some rain showers lingering, strong northeasterly winds off the icy lake. I don't see how Cleveland gets out of the 40s, and even down towards Mansfield and Akron could stay in the 40s too. Thursday, the warm front moves back through. 
better rain chances, but warmer. Friday, Indians home opener. We definitely look to break out into the warm sector of the storm. Could be a few scattered rain showers or thunderstorms. High temperatures, though, at least in the mid-60s as it looks right now, and a little bit cooler for Saturday. All right, with NeoWeather.com, I'm Jim Sullivan. Thanks for watching. Check us out again tomorrow.